goal that next year will be Manchester United might already know their general transfer budget for the new striker. The question for Manchester United heading into the general transfer window is how do you replace a striker, scoring a goal every 350 minutes so far this season? Okay, maybe that's a little tongue in cheek, but it's not like Eric Den Haag is trying to replace Frank Ronaldo in the first month of 2023. Dutchman? has steered United to the brink of the top four in spite of Ronaldo's decision, rather than because of him. Yes, Ronaldo scored the winner at Goodison Park in October, but that has been his only Premier League goals of 2022 to 23. His other goals came against Sarif Trieraspol, one of which was a penalty. The 37 soul has not been tearing it up this season, and if they not had to do without him for the entirety of decision. It's unlikely it will have had any material impact on where his team are in the Premier League. So while Riquiti striker will undoubtedly strengthen United's hand in the second half of the season, it's a balancing act as to whether it's worth compromising more long-term transfer plans for an option that it's seen as maybe only short-term fix. United belief. They have strengthened their recruitment principles in recent years, with a greater emphasis on data and an ability to quickly generate shortlist for every position. But the shortlist for an elite level striker in a summer window will be stronger than the shortlist for an available for one mid season. Recruitment expert at the club will usually present a list of options to the manager when he wants a position filled, although there is sometimes deviation from that. Odion Igalo was in a forward being tracked when he was signed as an emergency striker in the winter of 2020. For all the ready kill at United signing Igalo, he did what was required of him, scoring five goals and making an impact worthy of last minute Loan signing. But Igalo's name won't be cropping up in recruitment meetings between now and January 1st. United always planned to sign a striker in the summer of 2023, although they did consider bringing that for one year, when there was interest in Norby Salzburg teenager Benjamin Sasko, with the Slovenian signing a pre-contract agreement with Orbe Leipzig. He looks to be off the market. Napoli's sharp suitor Victor Zeman is a potential summer target while a Milan forward Rafael Leao will almost certainly attract Premier League interest as well. The problem for United is that Nador is likely to be available in January. Napoli certainly won't consider selling a sim hand with their season, looking so promising and Milan will need a huge bid to let a player like Leao live in the middle of the campaign. If United want to wait for a player of that kind of caliber, they need to balance the short-term needs of a forward in January. If Anthony Motto stay fit for the rest of the season, they can probably do without. But that is a major gamble to take. On the one hand, United have got to within three points of the top four, with a game in hand, with a minimal contribution from Ronaldo and Martial. But they are likely to face improving challenges from Chelsea and Liverpool after the World Cup. If United can return to the Champions League decision, it will strengthen the Hag's budget for next summer and make Ultrava the more attractive proposition for players. But if they don't sign a forward in January, it might put this ambition at risk. You can see why this is a difficult decision for Den Hag and football director John Murtaugh. They do at least have some extra funds to play with. The fact Ronaldo left the club without taking a payoff has saved around £16 million in wage. That is a significant saving between now and the end of the season and could be put towards signing a forward in January. 
that kind of some evidently want to try a work class forward. But it might be enough to sign someone who can be awarded short term option without taking anything out of the budget for the summer. The next challenge will be to find a striker available for that kind of figure. But United's beefed up approach to data in recruitment will help with that.